So it's a lovely day today. It's actually really sunny for once in England, but I've ridden to well. She was really good today. Um, and I've also had like an idea for things to do because a lot of um, people are doing um, like day one lockdown, day two. Of course, I'm late for it. Um, but <laughs> I thought maybe I could sort of like hop on the trend a bit and I'm going to do something a bit different. I have this list here, it's got so much stuff on like clean tack, wash twirl's tail, make a homemade treat for twirl, you know, stuff like that. And I've written numbers on it, of course I'll add to it if there's any more, but I've made like, you know, look. so basically I've cut up some little bits of paper and I've written numbers 1 to 20 on there, I've also, and I've put them in here, if I open it up, you can see they're all in there and then if I shake it and then like I'll shake it every day I'll shake it and get one out so four um, shed twirls coat so I have to do that and so I thought it was like a fun way to get all of these things done and well it doesn't really matter how many I pick out it depends on how like bored I am and you know how much I'm doing that day so yeah so I just picked and I got 12 which is clean out my shed now i cleaned out my shed yesterday but it still needs decorating so that's why i still put it on there and i didn't take it off then i got three which is groom my dog fiji then i got one which is clean tack and then i got 19 which is make homemade plaques but of course i won't be able to do all of this in a day so this is just going to be spread out and then as soon as i need to pick again i will but um one clean tack i have cleaned a bit of my tack i've cleaned my stirrup levers my stirrups and my bridle so i will show that right now It's never too late to change our life. So don't let them steal your I need to clean my two saddles that are now like in the in the shed just sat there and although they're not we're not using them for riding they still need to be cleaned because we don't want them to become dry or something like that so gonna do is number three which is um brush fiji fiji is my dog we adopt um my brother adopted him from portugal bless him he's uh, he's quite old now but he's very sweet and he's very hairy so you need a little brush don't you lad So 
this is my shed slash summer house. I cleaned my half of it today. Obviously, the other half is my dad's, and he's hoping to clean it today, his half today. And, um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff in here, but I all sorted it out. We got these shelves and things, and it's really, it's really nice, this. But, um, we want to, like, put some stuff. That wall is looking a bit bare. So is that wall, so we're hoping to put some stuff up. We're hoping to sort of de-rust these old horseshoes because they're just laid around, not really doing anything. Obviously, we'll have to pull them down. Um, but we're going to hopefully be putting them up, like, just on the wall, just a bit of decoration and stuff. And I do have some pink spray paint somewhere. Also had the idea to make some homemade name plaques for every horse I've ever had. And then just like put it up on this wall here because we think that will look really nice. We also had this um, shelf and we're gonna put that up on this wall, just like that. And then I can put like some pictures and some rosettes and whatever on there. So, also, as you saw in the video, a couple of videos before this, um, there was like I, I cleaned the saddles, they're still looking really nice, they're a little bit more dirty, but you know, they don't have to be spotless, just you know, make sure they're not dry and they don't feel dry anymore, they feel really nice and yeah <laughs> now i didn't catch my ride on film but i have a couple of clips to show you so here are a couple of clips <laughs> First we've got, of course they're not, well, of course they're not exact match, like for the each horse because they were all mixed up, but here we did our best, um, like to find fancy shoes, which is that horse, I haven't got the rest of the pictures up, and then we got Rosie's shoes, then we've got, um, Misty. Of course they're not perfect of what the horse's shoes were, I don't, mm, we don't know if we got it right or wrong, but I think they're pretty close. So, we're gonna put like the pictures of the ponies on that shelf there. And then Twell and Chester, they were both, Twell is barefoot and Chester, well, he was a foal, so he didn't have shoes on yet. So I'm gonna just uh, sort of put, maybe put like a picture of their hoof above them show that they're barefoot or something but we're gonna have their plaques underneath so you know which horse is which also speaking of the plaques we have made them um i was hoping to do them today and i did but the pink spray paint it didn't show up at all and well we thought it was broken or jammed but it wasn't they're just a safety thing on so you couldn't spray it in the shop that we bought it from so it didn't show up at all on the plaques we don't know if that might change overnight, but we, when we realised, because the silver one was doing it too, when we realised and found the safety thing, we sprayed most of them silver, so we only have one that's pink. We're going to see if that will show up tonight, but if not, I think we're going to spray all of them silver. I think even if it shows up, we're still going to spray them completely silver because I really like the silver.